Hey guys, my name is Dr. Lara. Uh, today I'm here with Amber. Amber is a 10 year old uh, female spade uh, Labrador. And Amber is coming in. If you guys, Abraham, if you come focus in on this toe right here, this toe right here really um, obviously is not normal. And what's happening is, uh, you know, sometimes what can happen with dogs when they're having issues with their toes is they can have some sort of nail bed infection going on. Um, and typically if we put them on some antibiotics or some anti-inflammatories, that will typically uh, resolve the issue. Um, sometimes uh, if they get even a deep nail, deep infection in there, sometimes it can look like that. And so what ended up happening is, as you guys can tell, you know, this is during uh, 2020 COVID-19 since I'm wearing the mask. Um, I had spoken to mom and dad and we decided that we were going to do uh, the anti-inflammatories and the antibiotics first. We did some blood work to see if there was anything abnormal there. And I told them, I said, if she does not respond to this therapy, then we definitely need to go ahead and do x-rays because we want to make sure that there isn't any evidence of cancer or anything like that. And the, you know, two or three weeks went by, no real improvement. So we decided to go ahead and do x-rays. And I'm gonna go over the x-rays with you guys. So, um, the, this is the toe uh, right here that is in question. And so, it, even if you look at these toes up here, you can see, number one, this nail is almost non-existent on here. And this is actually a bone in here. So, a lot of people wonder, oh, you know, when I cut the nail, um, or if I do any amputation, I'm just cutting the nail. No, there's an actual bone in there. So you have one, two, and you're supposed to have a third, what we call phalange. And that phalange is gone. Uh, it's been eaten up by whatever it is that's going on here. And so just so that you can see a different view, here it is again. Um, you know, the toe is pretty much disappearing. And it's not something that, you know, is is a sign of health. This is usually what we call a lytic lesion and an indication of cancer. So normally when we have lesions like this, um, if we're able to go ahead and get it off in um, a reasonable amount of time, so ideally you do it as quickly as possible, we would be able to go ahead and get it cured as long as we get it all out, okay? Usually this is going to require taking off the whole toe. You guys notice on amber, it's on the outside toe, and that toe um, does not bear the brunt of the weight. It's usually these two digits right here that will bear the brunt of the weight. My thumb is the dew claw, um, and again, dogs usually do really, really well. They'll adapt, so um, I wouldn't get too concerned about removing that part of the toe. Um, if you guys have any questions about this particular topic, leave it in the comment box. If you found this video helpful, give us a, give us a thumbs, up, thumbs up, subscribe, and if you know anybody who might need to see this, share it with them. Thanks for watching, be safe, and hope you guys stay well.